is Tara, your favorite little eclectic chick. So, if you do not know, every morning I come on here Monday through Friday, do our daily horoscope. I was banned there for a minute, so I'm super excited. I just randomly checked to see if I could go live, and I can. So, I'm hopping on here. I'm going to do my daily Twitch. So, if you guys miss your sign or you don't hear your sign, you're always more than welcome to watch the replay over at my YouTube, Twitch is T-Tara. So, I'm so happy that I can finally go live <laughs> on TikTok again. So, I have to watch my mouth because I guess people think that I'm a hater. So, I have to be a little PG. So, all right. So we're just going to dive right in. You guys already know I start at my sun sign for the month, which is Leo. And then I end at cancer. I'm so cheesed. I hope everybody's well. I missed you guys. Oh my God. I missed you guys so much. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. And then tonight, um, I'm actually going to come back on and do individual reads. Um, for you guys that don't know, come on here, do individual reads. I go to who I'm drawn to. Um, Hello. I usually go to who I'm drawn to as my individual reads. Donations do get you a guaranteed read when I do those lives. So, all right, but we're going to hop right in. All right. So, good morning. Leo, what is the energy for Leo today? What are the lessons and blessings? You are walking away from a situation that no longer serves you. You've put a lot of time and energy into this, and now you're learning that the energy that you put into this situation needs to be incumbent upon themselves, okay? There is somebody that you're dealing with that you have a lot of love for, admiration. You know, this could be somebody that you're even in a situationship with. Um, but right now, they're kind of experiencing their own lessons right now, and they're going through their own growth. Leos, it's your time to shine. With this portal energy, plus we have full moon, even though it's in Aquarius, I believe, Um this is your month. You guys are all about regaining your strengths, letting go of the lessons that no longer serve you or the ones that you've already learned. And today is just proof of that. This lesson that you're learning is not only just for your growth, but it's going to help you in your career, your pentacles. You're finally getting that confidence and that strength that Leo's, you, you know, you got this, you know, you got this. Is the heart a little hurting right now? Yeah, it is. But overall, you're releasing so much. There's a new beginning ahead. Some of you guys could be dealing with Capricorn energy as well. Um, I do see Cappy energy in your placement. And I also see Aries energy, another fire. So you guys in situationships could be dealing with that energy. I want to see what else we're dealing with. Pay attention to your house and Neptune as well. And your energy came out too. Scorpio also came out. That's about emotions, setting the path to where you want to go, kind of putting yourself on the forefront and allowing yourself to grow and just knowing if this person or situation is meant to be, it will come back. But today, focus on you, Leos. You got this. That financial uptick is nice. Some of you guys could be starting a new career path completely. There's a release of ego, narcissism. Um, if you have not confronted it yet, you're going to know and confront a situation where it is, um, where there is some ego, there is some narcissism, but you're calling it out. I'm just going to call it what it is. You're calling it out. Big time. I love that one. Leo, that just made my little heart happy. It did. I did not do cancer. Not yet. See if we can get. Is there any extra bonus for Leo before I hop to Virgo? Oh, world's at your shoulders, man. Look at that, Leo. Oh, good read for to Leo today. That's involving all realms. Get out of your heads, though, Leo. You got this. All right, Virgo. We are gonna hop onto Virgo. Everybody hopping in. Good morning. I hope that you are well. I just started with Leo and then I go down the wheel. I always start with the sun sign that we're in. Virgo. Okay. Okay, Virgo. You making moves. Oh my. Making moves and doing grooves. Let's just call it what it is. Right now, you guys are focused on a goal at hand, okay, for Virgos. You've taken a lot of your logic and a lot of your skills, being able to delegate situations, you know, towards the common goal. Um, I feel like this has to do with travel, home, things of that nature. Some of you guys could have just been starting a new job, 
to help with this uptick financially. But man, you're putting a lot of strength into your energy today, Lee, uh, Virgos. That's pretty awesome. Releasing anxieties. You're kind of stepping back as well. Taking a little bit of a breather for yourself. You have been one who has hold the reins for a while now. <clears throat> involving your jobs, career. You're going to get some sort of news as well involving your finances. Um, I feel like this has to do with some sort of settlement, things involving um, legalities of that nature. You're going to get an answer and you're going to receive pentacles for that. Um, whether this is clearing out debt or you have an inheritance coming in, things of that nature. Um, some of you guys could also have an unexpected bonus your way as well or a little blessing in disguise. Um, because I see that there's travel in your chart. There's releasing of anxiety. Things are starting to come into balance right now for you financially and personally. When it's coming to situationships, though, um, I feel like there's a little bit of imbalance for some of you Virgos with relationships. Maybe a lack of communication. A lot of moving, trying to move forward. And your person is also going through their own things right now. And they're trying to move forward in another way. There's collaboration. There's the want to be together. But right now, things are kind of upside down and wonky. Again, could be a lack of communication, someone going within, kind of rocking that hermit mode a little bit. But there's no separation. You're actually going to, in turn, have a conversation with this person. And it's going to rebalance it out, okay? There is a lesson learned when it comes to situationships. Singles, you are just not paying attention to details with nothing. You are not in the mood. You guys have recently mocked. Uh, walked away from someone, someone who really was looking at a lot of empty cups and not the full ones, someone who possibly could not appreciate the Virgo humor and just how y'all roll. We'll just call it what it is. I love my Virgos, okay? But so for singles, you're kind of just going with the flow today. Um, I really feel like for most of you, you're not really like talking to somebody on a serious level, even if you are situationship wise. Um, this is more about having fun with some um, breakfast bobs and BC buddies um, then you know, actually diving in and wanting to have a relationship because you're focused on this. You're focused on your pentacles right now. You want your stability back and that's just what it is. I see an uptick by September, mid-September, October, around, honestly, I keep on hearing the 12th. So somewhere around October 12th, you're also going to get a nice surprise and uptick financially as well. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. Say, so keep on rocking, man. I love that you guys are going through this huge shift and you guys are like really focusing on the goals at hand. You really want to like make this trip or this collaboration happen. And Virgos, you're making it happen. You are manifesting it. You're making it happening. And you ain't going to let nobody get in your way about it. Like, I'll just call it what it is. Nobody. All right, Libra. Libra, Libra. My cards are want. What's going on, Libra? My cards didn't want to shuffle. Libra, what the fudge? What's the energy for Libra today? Libra, what's going on? What is going on, Libra? You could have just suffered a quick financial loss, um, a hiccup that you weren't expecting. So right now, today, Libra, I feel like you're trying to rebalance. Um, you're kind of shuffling around some things financial-wise. Also, with your energy, you've had your energy really scattered and drained the past couple weeks. And I feel like today, you could really be feeling that on a physical level. Some of you guys could be experiencing just extra exhaustion today, okay? Um, wanting to kind of recluse, go into your own separate yourself as best as you can to just rebalance you're looking at your scales a lot libras yep you're trying to find a balance within yourself you're going into your energies so right now you've really been one of the emperor energy all about movement got taking these actions going forward i feel like you guys are actually most of you hold on i'm sorry i need my coffee most of you guys um He's in transition, sweetheart. That's the first thing I heard when I seen your question about your son. He's in transition. He's still, just as we had to get acclimated here on earth, um, I am a firm believer that once we cross over, we also go through, through a transitional phase to 
go back into our comfort there as well. And I feel like that's where he's at. It's not a bad thing. It's not purgatory. It's not purgatory. He just looking at life, looking at you guys, learning, seeing the lessons, things of that nature, becoming comfortable again. Okay. Virgos. Or not Virgos. Sorry. Libras. My bad. Some of you almost have Virgo placements, okay? I usually don't do that. So some of you leave Libras with Virgo placements. Avoid a conflict today, okay? There's something going on at work where there's been a lot of unbalance and unrest. You're feeling like you're not being able to fill up your cups today, Libras, because you are in the process of filling others. And you're kind of reaching that point where you're tired. Like I said, I feel for some of you guys, not only are you feeling it physically, some of you guys could actually be taking the step to go and kind of recluse yourself. Pay attention to your placements in Pluto. That's underworld. That is all about kind of looking at the dark side going in within yourself and learning. You also have, um, pay attention to your placement in Saturn as well. I feel like, and there's Aries energy that's also coming out in your chart. Let's see what else is coming out. Okay. For you guys in a couple, it's going to stay just as strong. There hasn't, I don't feel like for the majority of Libras, like if you guys are hiding something, there's like a creative project that you want to do with your partner that you're not speaking on. Um, I feel like this has to do more with time management than the actual not wanting to spend time with people. You know what I mean? But you know, your partner is really understanding. To be honest, I think you guys are going to kind of recluse a little bit together. I'm just going to call it what it is. For some of you singles, you are healing. You're going through these processes and you're scattered because what the hell? Why Why would you? Why? What the heck? Six cards out immediately? You got a lot to say, singles. There's anxieties. There's healings. There's wanting a situation to come to end. You're feeling stagnant, but there's a new beginning also coming. All right? Um, for you guys, again, as couples, there's a union. There's all these things coming into nature. The big one is the financial at work today. Watch your tongue. Somebody has done irritated the hot dog water and you are not vibing with it. Those soggy dogs, soggy hot dog waters. <sighs> your cups are gonna be filled again. They're gonna, you're, yeah, this is gonna be shown and stated. I'm just gonna call it what it is. That's what I got for you Libras. Scorpio. Scorpio. I need to start looking at the camera more. I'm so bad about that. So bad. I'm excited. Going live now on TikTok again. I miss you guys. And then I cannot wait to go live later. All right, Scorpios, you are focused on love, relationships, choices, okay? You're very up and down about this. You know that you are in love with somebody. You're infatuated. You want this to grow, but there's still on balance. I feel like you're kind of a person split into two right now. There's your love life, then there's your family life. And right now, when it comes to your love life, there's a connection. There's a lot of open communication. There's no walking away. Um... I feel like there's been a lot of openness when it comes to this relationship. That was the first thing that popped up, so I'm going to go with it. I will check your finances after. Um, but I do. I feel like there's going to be, there is, there's this uptick in communication. There's this want, desire. I'm going to say lust as well. Like there's an uptick with your guys' communications, things of that nature. The other half of Scorpio is completely on balance. There's anxieties that are now being lifted. There was something that happened within the family. Okay. Um, I feel like this is also dealing with children, things of that nature. So some of you Scorpios could be dealing with an ex, um, maternal figure, things of that nature. And things have really been on balance with that. There's a lot of shuffling. There's a lot of moving around. This is a slow process. The sun's in reverse. So for me... This is an outcome that in the end might cause a little bit of pain in the heart space more than more than what's going on now. OK, there's still going to be a little bit of chaos when it comes to the family life. And today I feel like you're going to be helping with some sort of transition Scorpios, whether this is 
getting your person back into their home, um, doing hospital visits, like delegations. That's really a big thing that I'm feeling. Also involving the kids. Like you guys could have an event today, things of that nature, christening, um, you know, school projects, things of that. So right now, Scorpius, I feel like you're literally one person living two lives. You have your heart filled on one and then the other side of your heart is full of angst and stress today. It's like, this is on your shoulders, not others, yours. And it is causing anxiety. It is causing grief, but you have this beautiful foundation and this person that you can talk to and you can kind of vent these worries to, and they're there with you. They have union with you. They're your 10 of cups. All right. So when it comes to finances, you're kind of feeling a little creatively blocked for some of you guys that are entrepreneurs. Right now, it's like you're kind of stuck. You have all these creative ideas. You want these ventures to go. There's a little bit of fear, Scorpies, though, of, like, revealing the ideas. I don't know. I kind of feel like I kind of feel like you're worried about what others will think a little bit. I also feel like you don't want to step on toes, things of that nature. Scorpies, if y'all got gifts, that's what it is. And I'm sorry, as somebody in the spiritual com community and also practices my own craft, nobody should be talking anything about somebody else's cauldron or ideas. Unless you're 100% copying, which happens, it is what it is. You're just a trendsetter. Don't take it personally, okay? If you have an idea, throw it out there, Scorpios, because it's going to help you with abundance. It's going to gain union. And this is something that you're going to actually be starting to be known for. So if you're doing candles, wax, um, like wax readings, things of that nature, I don't, that popped up randomly. So if you're thinking about doing candle work, wax readings, things of that nature, take that leap. Especially if you are already highly connected to those types of um, practices. That's the word. I couldn't think of what I was going to say. I blanked out for a second. Because you have a new beginning financially. You realize that this is a golden opportunity. Take the leap of faith. And honestly, I feel like it's going to be a nice little distraction for the things going on in the family life. It's kind of where your peace lies, your meditation. You know what I mean? Everybody thinks that meditation is like, um, I have to clear my mind and I have no. You know where my meditation's at? In my car. In my car. I turn on some music and I sit there in my car for about a good 10 minutes. That's meditation. It's connecting back to your center. Whether it is, because I cannot, I can't do that. I have ADD. I be opening up my eyes. I start thinking about tacos, like pets that I don't have, craft ideas, you name it. All of a sudden, my mind goes to anywhere except peace, love, and light. Okay? So... That's just that. So, Scorpius, find your balance. If it's in music, do it. If it's in candle work, do it. You need that right now because I feel in the next coming months, I give it by the end of November, there's going to be a huge transition for you guys, Scorpios. A huge one. This is like a life lesson. Transition. A lot of boundary placements for Scorpius are ahead. Lots. All right, Sagi Saj. Yeah, seriously, and I ain't making fun of anybody who is able to do that. Like, honestly, that's awesome. I wish that I could do that, but with my ad, I literally think of everything but what I need to do when I'm meditating. <laughs> so, the more I tell myself to clear my mind, the more crap comes in. Saggy Sag. What is the energy for Saggy Sag today? What is the energy? I have done Libra. Um, If you do not catch the sign, you can always catch the replay over on my YouTube. My link is in the bio, okay? <sighs> Saggy Sag. Dang. Okay. O okay. Okay. All right. So Sagittarius, you guys are kind of in this limbo. I'm just going to call it what it is today. You have a lot of creative ideas. There's movements. There's this want and motivation to do it, but it's getting out of the headspace. Sagis, 
All right. You need to realize that it is okay to walk away from what doesn't serve you. I honestly, I feel like this has to do with the job that is no longer not only monetary helping the situation, you're actually losing money. Okay. And it's kind of one of those things that it's like, how am I going to transition myself? You know, Sagis, yeah, you're free. We're able to shoot the arrow. Like we're, we're full of fun and adventure, but deep down, depending on our placements, some Sagis actually do want that stability. They want those things to come into fruition. But right now, Sagis, you need to look at your creative mindsets. There is something going on with ideas that you're coming into or things that you have created, kind of like a business venture that could easily turn into a career. Okay, because whatever is going on financially is not serving you there. There's hours being lost. Um, I feel like there was even a promotion or an opportunity that, you know, wasn't you've applied. You did the things that you do, but it pat, it wasn't for you. So it was actually given to somebody else, but it created some hindrances. This was a situation where it's like I literally have all the qualifications. WTF. So you're walking away. There's a new beginning. Do you got the swords? Absolutely, sweeties. You sure do. There's anxiety, there's worry, and there's fear for the future. But in the end, this new beginning is shining light on you guys, Saggies. There's going to be a rebalance, not only with your pentacles, but I feel it within yourself. For some of you Sagittariuses, I don't know if y'all been feeling it with this Leo energy as well. You feel out of sorts. I feel for a lot of Sagittariuses, there's things going on with your dreams as well. Sleep patterns are off the charts right now for Sagittarius. Um, some of you guys could actually be physically be woken up with some of these dreams, things of that nature. All right. But today you're walking away. You're starting a new beginning. Your, your sign came up temperance. You want that balance again, release and anxieties. You're walking away from pentacles that no longer serve you. Stabilities. This could also be a person as well. If some of you guys are conflicted with relationship, this could be an individual as well that you are tired of giving your resources to, Saggy. Pay attention to your Mercury placements. Your love life is part of the forefront as well. That's part of releasing the anxieties and wanting some balance. And this is somebody that you have considered walking away from within the past like month or so. Okay. I have done Leo. Leo was my first one, sweetie. Stepping into your own, collecting your cups. Realizing that your heart is of gold, Saggies. All right, what's for couples and Saggies? I like that financial uptick. That's nice. Yeah, for some of you guys, you're coming into a conversation as far as couple wise, you're going to be telling this person how you feel and then you're going to take a step back and see how they react. This is one that you've already considered walking away from um, or that you've been kind of hindered to have this conversation with. But you're going to say it out. I, I feel like even with your spread by the weekend, you're going to be having a very honest and open conversation. This is dealing with the heart space. This is also dealing with where you want your soul contract to go, okay? You need to decide whether this person wants to vibe or not. Um, but you're going to step back and you're going to give them the opportunity, okay? Now, if they take it, that is on them. For some of you guys, they are going to take it. They're going to take your words and they're going to take the things that you were saying into very, you know, big time into their heart space. They want to grow with you. Others, they're not ready. There's anxieties, there's lessons that they still need to learn. There's a past trauma that's occurred. Um, I feel like this has to deal with opening up, trusting, things of that nature with your partner. So I really feel with time and energy and an understanding, Sagittarius, is couples can work out. But right now, there's a lot of miscommunication going on. You need to have the combo. Singles, you are going to be running into somebody that is a freaking soul connection. Holy crap. This person is matching your vibe, Saggies, all right, for singles. This is somebody that you can actually already know, like an acquaintance, a friend of a friend, things of that nature. Um, I feel like if there's not texting or things like that going on, this could be coming up within the next week or so. I love this. I mean, this when I say this person matches your vibe, this person matches your vibe. You're the world. Like, 
matches the vibe. Great communication opening. Ooh, you could be dealing with an earth sign. Someone who's very balanced, logical, cappy is coming up big time. So is Virgo. So you could be totally like mashing with somebody who lets you be free, but also has the logic side to them. This is a great like collaboration, honestly. So yeah, that's what I got for the Saggy Sag today. We can definitely check the energy tomorrow as well. Capricorn. Capricorn, there is somebody on your mind. I feel like this is somebody from your past. All right. This is somebody from your past. Somebody that you felt was a very deep soul connection. Um, And it doesn't have to be romantic. But this is a person that you're kind of out of sorts with. No communication. But for some reason, you keep seeing signs about this individual whether it's a song y'all jam to like a particular flavor of starburst like crazy stuff like that where you're like really really spirit you got jokes oh, okay like so there's somebody on your mind that is just like <laughs> kind of hanging around you're thinking about what you guys used to do but you know that right now this is somebody that you cannot connect with on the 5D. There was a deceit that was revealed in this situation. There's still a healing process, Capis. Um, but right now, it's about reflecting, taking a time out, gaining different perspectives, looking at things from a different, you know, angle, things of that nature. Um, because I'm just going to call it what it is. This was a cycle that you weren't expecting. Okay, this deceit that was revealed really kind of threw you for a loop. Um, I feel like this does have to do with a friendship, um, things involving like a partnership, business, that kind of nature. Because Pentacles is coming up, but for me with this, this is like stability. This is the things that's coming within your home life. What makes your tribe? All right, but there are movement forwards. You're realizing in time that even though you miss this individual or this situation it wasn't meant for you at the time you weren't a puppet on a string there was dissolution there was some sort of mindset going on where you put a lot of time and effort into this to get pretty much burned i'm just gonna call it what it is all right but you're regaining yourself even though you miss this person and you're walking away with the anxieties and a little bit of hurt in the heart space this is a new beginning you control the boat to that light and in the end your world is going to balance you're vibing with your tribe that you're meant to vibe with sometimes we run into people for reasons and seasons you know sometimes the most beautiful seasons are the quickest that come in and out we never forget those situations or we never forget those people but at time at the time we know that they're not meant for us for the whole journey you know what i mean so Cappies, that's something that I really feel is going on in the headspace right now. There was a card that just fell. Union. Sorry. Boop. So that's what I'm getting immediately for the Capricorns. Um, as far as finances, you have a new um opportunity coming up. This is there's a lot of threes in your chart. A lot of threes surrounding you. Um, if you're seeing a lot of synchronicities with threes, also I believe with the 666, 999 things of that nature, you're able to kind of like, those are synchronicities you need to pay attention to. I'm trying to remember the angel numbers right now. I'm kind of blanking out, still on my first cup of coffee. But you're seeing them. I feel like something and pivotal is going to happen for you in March as well. So just pay attention to the month of March. Couples, you guys are a movement. There's a lot of plans. There's progressing going forward. Um, I feel for some of you guys, you could be considering moving in together. Big move. Big life changes ahead for couples that I keep on seeing for cappies. Movements. Some of you guys could be starting a home business together. And it's going to be in union. You guys are going to collaborate together. You guys are going to make the choices together. There's a lot of growing. There's a lot of coming into fruition. You guys are feeding off each other's creative ideas. And where one feels like they're not endowed, the other one is picking it up. So there's a very good balance when it comes to this collaboration as far as couples. This move is actually going to benefit both of you. Um, It's, it's bringing a lot less stress, honestly. It's like... 
this is where you guys wanted to go. This is a planned move. This is something that you've wanted for a while. Mm -hmm. You're tired of kind of living the busy life. You're ready to go kind of deep, go into that quiet zone. Some of y'all could actually be taking the home life far. It shows distance with this move. Distance. Cross country, cross the state, going from city to country, things of that nature. Okay? Singles, you ain't doing a damn. You are focusing on your finances, and that is what it is. Um, Some of you guys, you're not even really talking to somebody. You're not in the zone to. You know, that could also be part of the hindrances of the person or situation that's in your mind that came in your general spread. So right now you're healing, you're going through this process and you're putting a lot of your time and energy into the goals that you want, focusing on work today. There's an uptick with that as well. Um, I feel for some of you guys, you could be getting a call or a text about a second job opportunity or a, a like a side hustle as well to gain some of your finances. Um, singles, you're also looking at a move here very soon travel things of that nature that is showing up everywhere there's aquarius energy cancerian energy is in your chart leo energy there's gemini so you have a lot in the placements today happies you have a lot so that's what i have for you I hope that that resonates. All right, Aquarius is. Aquarius is. I am not doing individual reads right now, sweeties. I am just doing the horoscope, but I will be back on later to do individual reads. I also do do private readings if you guys are interested. I'm running a special right now. It's thirty dollars for thirty minutes. It can be video or message. So video, interpersonal like this, message, it, I will write it out. And it's um, a reading that you can actually look back on as well. Okay? So Aquarius. Are we hermiting Aquariuses? Kind of going into our little cocoons? Feeling kind of like, eh. Eh. I guess that's the best way I can do the energy like the cone heads. Mm. Aquarius is you are feeling stuck. Mm -hmm. You're feeling like creative blockages. You're not really feeling couple wise, not communication, hindrances, defenses. You're feeling really stuck and stagnant today, Aquarius. WTF? I mean, what in the hot dog water? What in the hot dog water vibes, man? Come on. You want to make movements. Things are kind of holding you back, though. There could be a little bit of. Some of you guys could be feeling physically ill as well right now. Cold, allergies. Because all of a sudden I step into Aquarius energy and my face feels like it is completely filled with like the grossness. Okay. And my eyes start are starting to feel like, I don't know, puffy a little bit. So, so some of you guys could be dealing with allergies, cold, sinus. Pay attention to that, all right? Um, some of you guys, your third eye is also opening up. You could be going through an awakening today. But I'll just call it what it is. Aquarius says, you just want your blankie. You want your snuggie and your snack today. That, I mean, you really have put in so much the past couple months. And I feel like now your body and your mind is like, stop. Just chill. Just chill out. What are your plans and and have your good coffee, but um, snuggy and snack. Snuggy and snack. It's a big thing that I'm seeing. I am a firm believer. Sick days are also used for mental health days. That, and that's, and if I triggered warning anybody, I apologize. But I am, sick days are not just, you know, when you're, ugh. it's when you're also, take it. If you got the opportunity, take it. I feel like it's really going to rebalance you because you are completely on balance today, Aquariuses. You have the items to move forward, but right now, stagnant energy, you need to rest. Rest. If you're not feeling that there's a lot of communication with the relationships, the moon energy came out. That's also Cancerian energy. Nope. Oh, yes, I have done Saggy yet. Yes, I have. Sorry. But I do, I feel like there is this 
there's going to be an opportunity to open up and talk, but you are in this mode. You need to rest. You need to take care of yourself today, Aquarius. Fill your own cups. Fill your own cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with this situation as far as relationships because this is popping up um, where you're going to be walking away. There's a, there's a situation you're going to be walking away from. You've given your all. You've put a lot of time and effort into this. You've put a lot of growth wanting to make this work, and it's just not aligning. So now you're starting to realize the best thing that you can do for yourself and your peace is to walk away and let this individual person, place, or thing, the noun, do what it needs to do. Sometimes, unfortunately, Aquarius, is, we are just a plant in somebody else's karmic apartment. Okay? And they forget to water us. It's up to you to get up and go water yourself, you know, because you have a new beginning ahead. You have this opportunity once there's a walking away from this situation. This could also be the mindset, feeling tired, hermit mode, told you, rest, relaxation. Aquarius says, just chill out today, please. I just please. I, I like I'm trying to get even like cards of like, well, is there movements? And each one is like, no. Justice will be served. You need to be patient. A new beginning is coming. Lessons are being learned. Your worth. Where your levels are. And that's in all realms. Like, this is a very general today. This is focusing on all departments. So, yeah. That's what I got for you, Aquarius, this day. I feel bad. I kind of want to get you all a snack. I kind of want to get you guys a snack. Oh, oh Aquarius says, I'm sorry, guys. We'll totally check the energy tomorrow. Totally, totally. Totally, totally. So, if you guys don't know, I was recently, you know, OG'd in the van department today. I don't know, whatever. But... I have some new products coming out as well in my shop. So um, I have some new crystals coming in. Phoenix Stone is one that I am bringing into my little shop. Um, also, Gold Obsidian Fairies as well. And then I got a whole bunch of like cute little fluorite witch hats. All of those types of crystals, um, the hats are actually going to be like a little extra bonus into any of my Twitch kits, which are... Little witchy kits, candles, bath salts. Um, I also can do ritual kits as well. Um, I send little holistic care items, tink tinkers, balms, oils. Um, I made jelly. So if anybody's interested in some jellies and jams, I'm your girl. Make it all homemade. So just want to throw that out there because I am totally loving it. If you're in Michigan, I need friends. Okay. I would love to hang out with some like-minded people, get together, be able to go hang out, kind of exchange practices and our growth and experience. So if you're in Michigan, hi, <laughs> oh, Pisces, damn, dude, I step into Pisces energies and I'm like, I need friends. Some of you guys are feeling a little like secluded, Pisces, I'm stepping in, you're feeling secluded. Ooh, some of you are drained. Pisces, you just had a huge life transition, whether this is a death, birth, um, leaving a relationship, um, and not a decent one, um, trigger warning, a DV relationship, toxic, things of that nature. What wasn't serving you anymore, okay? You're rebalancing yourself a lot, Pisces. Some of you guys could be completely exhausted as well, but you're revealing truths. You're looking at this situation with a whole new set of eyes and perspective, okay? And you're jumping in head first to your new beginning. This thing, this situation of the past, you're going to close it out. Um, I feel that if it's dealing with a particular situation, this is an energy that's kind of back and forth, okay? Um, that's a big thing that I'm seeing today. So don't be surprised if you get a random text message and then you don't hear from this individual for weeks, okay? Um. But for you, Pisces, especially if you guys are in single mode, you know, kind of taking care of your own, you have a new beginning ahead, all right? This is also a financial uptick. So if you guys are business owners, or you're working for a company, things of that nature, there's going to be a financial uptick, whether this is a raise 
or some sort of bonus is kind of what I'm a little like scattered on, but I feel like it's going to have to do with your growth and what you want to do. All right. Um, for you, Pisces, you're coming up with a lot of ideas to expand yourself. You realize that at the end of the day, you are the one who holds the balance for you and you alone. There ain't no down fish in this spread. I'll tell you that right now. There ain't a down fish in it. This is all about being motivated, growing, moving forward, accepting yourself, releasing what doesn't serve you. There's a lot of karmic release in this. Um, some of you guys could even be physically feeling it. There's a situation that you might come into today where it's like not only is it closing out the cycle, you feel it. You feel it like escaping the heart space. And it's like the weight literally off your shoulders. Freya, stop it. Sorry. That's my cat. Oh, no, that's Frank. Frank. But you're manifesting the things that you want, including this new beginning, Pisces. All right. Some of you guys could have a crazy little fur baby who's driving you insane right now, too. Don't mind him. Frank. Don't feel stuck, Pisces. If some of you guys are feeling like this job or this situation doesn't serve you, you're going to be walking away from it. And it doesn't. You're intuitively knowing that. There's a situation that's going to, there could even be a person that's coming in today that's going to ask you for money and you're going to have to turn them down. You're going to have to tell them no. Gosh, there's a lot going on for you, Pisces. Couples, I see you guys collaborating collaborating together. There's a release of anxiety. Your partner is going to randomly come up to you and like tell you how much they appreciate you. You could also be dealing, you're coming up in your, in your chart as well. Lots of water, emotions, movement, fire, taking actions, going into these motions. Um, some of you guys could be dealing with the Cancerian energy as well. I see Gemini energy. Cappy energy is also coming up in your chart. So this is about movements, finding your balance again, Pisces. That's a big thing today for you. Stand your ground. Place those boundaries. If you are not comfortable in a situation today, say it. Speak it. And if you got to tell somebody no, place those boundaries and tell somebody no. Because sometimes you just cannot help others who are not willing to help themselves. This is a situation, person, place, a thing that you've helped more than on one occasion. Way more than one occasion. Frank is so funny. Frank's my cat. I love Frank the cat. Frank freaking Gallagher. All right, Aries. What is the energy for Aries today? Like I've said, if you guys need to catch the replay, it's over on my YouTube in the bio, okay? Aries, you have a contract or an idea that you are considering. Or you have been offered an idea that you are really wary about and I don't feel like you're going to take it today. I'm just going to say what it is. There's something that's not lining up with this contract or this deal per se, Aries, okay? Um, this is a loss of pentacles. This is a loss of movement. There's a little bit of shady shade going on. Um, I don't know if you are dealing with a, there's a Sagittarian energy. There's also a Cancer energy that is coming up into it. But you're revealing truths. You're ending a cycle with this situation. This could also be dealing with the maternal energy, female energy, things of that nature, Okay. Um, but you're walking away today. You are walking away from a situation that does not serve you anymore. This is someone, something that has drained your accounts. The idea, it was a great idea to begin with, but then things started falling apart. Like at the seams. You're walking away. You're regaining yourself. You're going to tell this person, place or thing this no longer suits you. You're kind of going to take your losses and you're walking. All right. Yeah, because as soon as you walk, that's when everything comes back into motion for you. 
that's when the star comes into play. You're actually coming up with new ideas, Aries. All right. You're manifesting what you want to do. Um, so don't be surprised in the next like six to eight weeks, you actually come up with your own idea, your venture, and it's going to regain a balance. There's the uptick in finances. There's the uptick in balance. There could be someone else that you are wanting to collaborate with, go into partnership with, things of that nature. You're going to have that opportunity and this person is going to align with you. There's no dissolution in this. There's an uptick in pentacles. New beginnings moving forward. But you got to release creative ideas coming into motion. Pentacles upticking. Virgo energy is here as well. Big Virgo energy is in your placements today. You could be dealing with somebody who's like the complete opposite of you in that way. But there's a lot of logic behind this planning. Tons of business planning. Some of you guys could be applying for a grant or a loan. Don't, don't jump into it. You will get an answer sooner than later. And for the majority of you, there's approval. Because you walked away. You place your boundaries. You're staying with the new venture. There's no walking away from this. Growth, expansion. But you got to walk away from what's not serving you today. And you know this. Intuitively, this is something you, you guys have felt for a minute. All right. But there was something that happened with your money or your bank accounts that you're like, I'm done. I have to walk away from this situation. It could be even as much as a job is not, you know, what they said was going to be is not exactly what was. You know what I mean? So you're on your path to a whole nother set growth wise, financial wise. Got to release it first. OK, got to release first. Cancerian energy, movement, I am, you got a lot of water energy, holy moly, Aries, you, you need to look at the emotions of yourself a little bit too, if you guys have been a little hindered, not speaking, things of that nature, it's time to speak to the people that you are closest to. Writing is also something that is coming into play. You also got Pisces. You got every water sign. Aries, that's emotions. That's movement. That's opening up. Don't be a, don't don't down fish. Don't crabby crab. Like don't don't sting nobody. But you need to look into your heart space and see exactly. You know what you truly want. Now it's time to open up the heart and let others know. Or Follow your dreams that's coming into the heart space. Okay? Please. It's what you want. And it's actually going to help you. There's no like, oh my gosh. No, no. There's nothing. It's literally like you release this and then all of a sudden it's like a huge shift. This is actually a very quick energy too. It's not one that's slow, stagnant, going to take months. Like there was twos all over your charts as well. So... If you're seeing a lot of two synchronicities, two, 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 four, 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 um, I feel like you're even seeing things like two, four, six, things of that nature. Um, look up your angel number. Go to what, you know, the page that you're drawn to and read it. You know, each page has a different answer most of the time. But I always tell people, go to the one that you're drawn to. You don't have to read all 10 of them. Go to what you're drawn to. Taurus. Taurus, you are big, heavy-hearted today. There's a lot of stress, Tauruses. Some of you guys are in fight or flight mode. All right, Tauruses, some of you guys got those horns out today. You are wanting to patiently wait for a new beginning. But things aren't, they're self-doubt. Tauruses, what the deep, deep, blah, 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 blah. How, Tories? Not feeling confident, Tauruses. Some of you guys are going into hermit mode today. Big time. Reflecting. Not feeling like there's much movement. You have the dreams. You have the actions and admiration. Some of you guys even got this golden opportunity to change. 
like your current financial situation, career situation. You guys, some of you Tauruses have the opportunity for an openness with a relationship, whether you are single or couples, there's a new opportunity ahead. But Tauruses, you got to get out of your head. I, like you're waiting for this new beginning and waiting and waiting, but there's not action. What happens to still water? It gets mosquito poop. You know, it just sits, it gets stagnant. It doesn't grow, it molds. Taurus. Finding rebalance today, letting go of anxieties. You feel like there was a deceit recently for some of you Tauruses, okay? You do. You feel like there was a level to you or there's like a lack of a truth being revealed right now. Um, I can honestly say looking at this spread and feeling intuitively, truth that needs to be revealed. This is all something that is, you know, it has been taken care of. Um, there was a person that you were in a situation ship or even with job and career, like there's something that was dealing with gossip, lies of that nature. All of that's been rectified, but Taurus, you're still holding on to this. You're kind of going into your shell. You're, you're, you're reclusing. There's not, I'm just going to call it what it is. Y'all are being really stubborn on this. Okay. And it's hindering yourselves. This opportunity could be lost if you don't get off the tuck kiss and get that bull by the horn and get it going. Start believing in yourself, Tauruses. Like I'm looking at this spread and there's like self-doubt, negative mindsets, not growth. Knowing that there's opportunity, but you're so scared to take that step. I feel like somebody from your past said something to you, too, that triggered you. You're not willing to let it go. You're not willing to let it freaking go today, Tauruses. You don't want to make choices. You're just like, well, this is just the way it's going to be. You guys are in a pookie duke energy today. Hot dog water vibe energy. You need to find union. I'm sorry that, you know what? It's not, sometimes they're just not all great. This ain't all sunshine and rainbows. This is just fact. Just truth. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Sagittarian energy. I see earth placements and also air. That's movement. That's the want to move forward. Earth, bringing logic into it. Sagittarius, taking that motivation that, you know, who just really like, Fire under the butt, man. Fire under the butt, Tauruses. Fire under the butt. This situation is going to grow and expand. You need to let it grow and expand. Tauruses, why are you not feeling like you deserve it? What is going on, Tauris? It's like you, like I said, there's this opportunity on more than just one level for you. And you're scared. You're nervous. Putting in self-doubt. You're in a tower moment. Tower moments are okay. It's okay. You know what the most beautiful thing about a tower moment is? Is that you can rebuild it on something that is not quicksand. You, you, you seen that that tower wasn't solid. You knew that it was freaking hot dog water vibes from the rip. Now you have the opportunity to place your tower, your bricks on a solid foundation, on limestone, on, on all these beautiful, hard surfaces to grow. But Tauruses, I'm warning you right now, staying in this mindset, you're going to miss an opportunity pentacles wise. There's an opportunity that could pass you by financially and uptick because of this mindset today. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cause you guys are brave, man. Anxieties. You don't feel strong. Tauruses, I love you. And I want to give you a big hug, even if you hit me with your horn, okay? You guys are strong. There's a lot that's been on your shoulders lately, okay? You got this. Mindsets change. And you know what? 
truth be told, if an opportunity passes you by, it wasn't meant for you anyways. Don't get in your head about it. It just wasn't meant. That means that it opened up a window to a whole new beautiful opportunity if you're willing to take it, Tauruses. And this is in all realms. Singles, couples, finance. This is not just a, oh, well, this particular, this is all of it. You have a lot of golden opportunity on all of this, Tauruses. Believe in yourself. Believe in you. You're adaptable, you know. You can grow. You need to believe in you. Okay? That's what I have for you, Tauruses, today. Uh, and you know what? We'll check the vibe tomorrow. I am, I am going to send you guys some healing love today, man. Tauruses, I am going to send it as best as you can. Some of y'all might kick it back, you know, because you're stubborn, and that's okay. But mindset. Mind and movement, all right? Mind and movement. I almost, like, teared up for Tauruses. Some of you guys are so affected in the heart space. It's like, man, believe in yourself, guys. You got this. You guys have been the rock for a long time. Now it's time for you to be take the turn and put yourself at one. You know? You got this. I'm trying to hide my cup because it has the particular plants on it. And I didn't realize that. I just grabbed a coffee cup this morning. <laughs> Geminis. My jummy gems. My jummy gems. If you have not heard your sign, it probably has already been done. And you are more than welcome to watch the replay over at Twitch's T Tarot on YouTube. Um, I timestamp them all, so you can go directly to your sign. So that is where all my replays are, even for individual reads. So if any of you guys ever go on one of my uh, individual lives, free reads, card pulls, things of that nature, and you possibly have missed it, don't worry. You can always catch the replay over on my YouTube, okay? And if you miss any of my lives here, I also go live on Facebook twice a week. So... You can find me on more than one form. Ooh, Geminis. All right. Gemmies. Gemmies, Gemmies. You guys have been feeling all sorts of wonk, but you are placing yourself back into balance. There's a creative idea that's coming into play. I feel like this has to do a lot with, like, business and a home. All right. Um, some of you guys could be moving. You're thinking about, you know, the ideas of what you want in your home your space, things of that nature. You're trying to find your balance again, okay, Geminis? Um, because honestly, the other twin's been out for months. You know, the one where it's like you got to kind of be defensive, go into yourself, because you've had a lot on your plate. You have been responsible for persons, places, and things way longer than you needed to be responsible for those per person, place, or things, all right? We're just going to call them the nouns. Call it what it is. You, you put too much work and effort into the nouns and not noun in yourself, all right? You're realizing that. You're stepping into it. There could have been a situation where you placed a boundary within the last, like, 48 hours. Where you're like, I love you. You can't live here anymore. I love you. Grow the chichirion up, okay? I'm not your mom. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not all these things. You have to do for you, too. And I have to do for me. All right, Jummies, that's a big thing that I'm seeing because you need to focus on your finances. All right, I'm going to cause it as I see it when it comes to these reads. I always do. I'm a very, very honest reader when it comes to that. I don't tell you what you want. I'll tell you what is shown. Cancerian energy, diving into your emotions. You need to find that balance again because right now, this is not where you are at. You are not wanting that vibe. You need to focus on the finances right now, Gemini's. Um, for some of you guys, with this move, things of that nature, um, it's going to cost a little bit more than you expected. I feel like there's something going on with like a down payment or deposit that keeps on coming up when it comes to this move. All right. So make sure that you have a little bit extra in that account for this minor hiccup. Okay. It doesn't mean that you're going to lose it or this or that. It just means that it's a little bit harder. 
You're releasing anxieties. It's time to fill your cups, jemmies. You have beautiful ideas. Beautiful ideas. There are ideas that you are coming into fruition about. Some of this has to deal with like psychiatry, healing. Um, some of you guys are working with some sort of colors. That's a big thing that keeps on popping out for Gemini's colors, creativity. Um, but it's time. There, there, there's no more filling other people's cups. It's time to fill your own. You're on that path. The chariot's there. It's, it's, it's movement. It's wanting to come forward. You have new beginnings ahead. Get out of the emotional aspect of you might feel bad that somebody is, you know, just not, you can't take care of everybody. All right. It's affecting your heart space a little bit today, Jemmy's. I'll call it what it is, my Jemmy Gems. Step back into your Ember Energy logic movement. Going in, taking those tasks and putting them into the first step forward. You know what I mean? I want to see what else is going on. What's going on for Jemmy's as far as couples? There's a little bit of back and forth, Jemmy's, when it's coming to couples. Some of you guys, I don't, I don't like saying it, but I'm just going to call it what it is. For some of y'all, there could be a third party. All right. This is someone who is kind of like not committal, but they want to spend time with you. They, they enjoy your company, things like that, but they don't want to be the one and only. Um, Right now, they're in a position where they just kind of want to be free. They want to kind of like... What do you call Betty and breakfast Bob it a little bit, but they enjoy your company. They just don't want to go to that next step forward. Okay. Um, there's an energy that's actually catching feelings faster than the other one in this situation. Be careful because it could lead to heartbreak and a new beginning. Okay. Just be careful. Take time. Enjoy yourselves. Date. There's nothing wrong with dating titles. Not needed. Showing a walking away for couples. And that's with situationships. So there's two new beginnings in this. I don't see this being long term. Honestly, I think you're going to find out within the next, like, by the weekend. You're going to find out by the weekend about a third party. A reveal. Truth. A truth is going to be revealed. A lie. You got the strength for it, though. You ain't going to handle all that because you need to focus. And you're going to say this, I feel, for you, Jemmies. You're like, I got to focus on this. I got to focus on my pentacles, okay? It sucks. I kind of like you. But it is what it is, man. It is what it is. It's a big one. Focus on these pentacles, Jemmies. If you have an idea with healing, holistic work, things of that nature, throw it out there. Throw it out there today, okay? Because there, there's... There's opportunity. There's there's golden opportunity. I feel like there's going to be somebody that you connect with that's going to not only be, like, watching you, they're going to start, like, talking, like, highly of you. They're going to start they're pretty much like a word of mouth type of thing, and you're going to start getting more clientele. This person is a higher up. This person is influential, okay? I'm not saying it's, like, you know, the queen or anything crazy like that, but, like, this is somebody who has influence. They're watching you, Jemmys. They are watching you. They are watching you. Okay. Um. Uh, little, 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 I cannot say the screen name. I will send your donation back, sweetheart, okay? Or if you want me to keep it, what I can do... Is I can do like a personal reading for you on um on t on tonight's live. Like I can just do the reading for you and then timestamp it and send it to you, or I can tag you in it. But that's okay. No, I need you. That's why you're my moderator. And if you guys do not follow her, follow my mod. She's awesome. I I needed it, girl. You already know how scattered I am. Okay, come on. I'm glad that you kind of took over because, you know, on my ad, I start talking about, like, crazy stuff. And I'm trying to watch my mouth because, like, I got banned and now I got unbanned. And Frank, what the hell? Sorry. He climbed up my freaking... I have, like, 
Okay, like I have like the beads, you know what I'm saying, in my doorways and all this and like nice little curtains. Um, Frank just completely climbed it and bent, bent through him and then looked at me and then looked at me. That cat is on a level. All right, Cancers, this is for you. No, same. Oh man, totally. What? What were you talking about again? Cancers, you scattered. Oh my God, you're releasing a feminine energy. You guys have just recently, if you have not broken up with somebody or let go of a feminine energy, be prepared. You're kind of over it. There is a closing out of a cycle. There's patterns that's been repeated, Cancers. And today, you have done had enough. There is a situation that could come up that you were going to be like triggered. I'm just going to call it what it is. Um, this person, place, or thing has drained you emotionally. You've given your all for months on this situation. There's, there, there, this is a feminine energy. Let me, I am actually on my last sign. I am on cancer. Everything else has been done. Walking away. There's a loss for cancers. I'm sorry, guys. You know what? I'm not sorry because this is what the energy is right now, okay? With the portal, you know, with the Lion's Gate portal, the energy all the way to the 12th, we have full moon in Aquarius. This is all about releasing the things that no longer serve us for the rest of the year. This is also the last super moon of 2022. So, like legit what does that serve you guys all signs write it down burn it bury it do whatever you need to do because it doesn't serve you anymore persons places things i sound like dr freaking seuss all the places you would go don't leave a nasty little toe like just do what you need to do okay because it's a release everywhere okay i'm just gonna call it what it is so like there's an ending for you cancers, okay? Um, this is somebody that you've been dealing with for a long time. Not like, oh, within the last like 12 months, okay? Um, you're realizing this person has no action. They talk. They talk all the damn time. All right, cancers. But now you're like, yo, I need I need action now. I need you to I need you to show me what you've been telling me. And this person is not coming up to your level cancers they're just not you know and it's not i'm ignoring the cat and it's not because they don't care it's not that they don't have like love you this isn't an energy of complete narcissism or using or things like that they're just not up to the vibe yet there's lessons on their end that they need to learn dealing with trust and dealing with healthy relationship what the flying front door frank gallagher I love you. I love you. Frank. But there's no union. There's no, I'm sorry. You guys have just heard me yell at my cat. I love Frank. But Frank is, Frank is on a mission today. Frank's on a mission to fuck shit up. He is. He's on a level. Spirit's been messing with him all morning though. It's been cracking me up. Like I sat there for a minute. Cancers, y'all are scatterbrained too, so I'm just going to tell my story and then I'll shut up, I promise. But Spirit's been messing with him. So this morning, I'm getting my coffee and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, I see Frank and he's like on the window. He never does that. He, he never is one because he's heavy, all right? He got a big booty. And like, so when he tries to climb up a window, it's like one... He looks like one of those cat things because he's all like, dude, he was on that window. And then I seen him and his whole head was like staring at the ceiling, running up the stairs. I'm like, dude, spirit is screwing with you so hardcore today, Frank. Frank woke up and chose. I don't know what the hell Frank chose. Frank chose an episode of Shameless. I, I just don't know about that Gallagher sometimes. Yep. All right. Sorry. Sorry, but. 
I love Frank. <laughs> I really do. I lost a cat. His name was D. He was 19. And Frank really reminds me of him. And so I really, um, I really am attached to that cat. D was my first baby before I had babies. And I lost him about a, over a year ago. So Frank is, Frank is the soul child of D all day. Oh, cancers. Cancers, cancers. I'm so sorry you're scattered, guys. You're walking away with anxieties. Um, as far as finances, though, you have an opportunity. Some of you guys could actually have a forced leave or a move due to your work. Um, some of you guys, and this has came up for months, some of you guys can be in military, police, things of that nature that does require you to travel for training purposes, things of that nature. Um, be prepared for a surprise deployment or a surprise, like, shift, okay? That's the best way I can explain it. I do apologize talking about my cat. But, so cancers, I do. I feel like you, be prepared for this opportunity. There's movement. There's going through all this. Um, some of you guys could be walking away from a job and your opportunity could be in another state. You're feeling stuck though. This situation, some of you cancers, you're dipping into your crab today. As soon as you release this, you're going back into recluse. Chariot energy in reverse. That's, that's you. That's you. Movement. Not wanting to move, but have all the tools to move. Your heart's really invested in this situation you know you got to let go of. This is a person you're dealing with in the 3D as well, Cancer. So this is not, this is not somebody from your past that you're thinking of. This is somebody that you're actually physically dealing with in the 3D. Okay. You're sad. Your heart, your heart's in it. You really hoped for the best, but this is a lesson learned. For some of you cancers, this was the same situation, different face. You've seen some of the red flags and you hope that they just turned pink. You hoped, you know, you gave benefit of the doubt, things of that nature. Be prepared, Cancers, for a walking away when it comes to relationships and a possible career. I want to see what energies this is because this is like, <laughs> you reveal the truth. Libra, Leo, Virgo. So your person could have those placements. Scales are out of balance, fire energy, Virgo, lack of logic. That's in reverse. Virgos are all about, you know, mindsets, finding the most logical route, planning, things of that nature. You haven't spoke on this in a long time. You're stepping back into, you're going to step into this energy today. You're releasing it. Uh, and I'm just going to call it what it is. Don't be surprised if there's drama today when you are releasing this. This is not an easy, I'm letting go of this situation. This is somebody or something that you've invested in. You possibly could even be living with this person. Or you guys had plans to move in together. That could also be a reason of the separation. Somebody's not willing to go the distance. That's what I have for you, Cancers, today. I'm sorry. We will totally check the vibes tomorrow. So, you guys, that was it. I appreciate you catching me on the daily Twitch. It is every morning, Monday through Friday. I do the horoscopes. You guys can check out the replays always on my YouTube. I will be back on here, TikTok tonight, for individual reads. Um, I go... To whom I'm drawn to. Those are free reads. Donations do give you a guaranteed read and extra cards on those. But I do have, I do not have a minimum donation price as of right now. Um, it, the gifts are not a donation. Okay. I love the gifts. They're beautiful. Everything else. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I don't understand the whole gifting thing when it comes to TikTok and things like that. I'm, I'm kind of a noob. I'll own it. I'm a little bit of a noob when it comes to TikTok, so I need to, I'm learning with y'all. So if any of y'all got suggestions, you want to see different content on my stuff, I'm here to help you guys. This is, this is what my calling is. This is not, 
to be, you know, oh, monetary this one. No, I'm not one of those readers. I do this because I genuinely love it. It comes from a heart space that, like, I want to share with all of you. So that's why I don't have a minimum donation. That's why I do the things that I do for that reason. Um, but yeah, I want some suggestions, contents that you guys want to see. I always do the twin flame. That will be up today. So just so you guys know, I do a twin flame reading probably every like five to seven days for you guys, who your person, what your person's thinking, that nature. I always have a message of the day. Um, but yeah, hit me up. Let me know what you guys want to see. But I'll see y'all today. I got to go deal with Frank because he knocked over a whole water dish when I like yelled at him. Like when I say he knocked it, it's on carpet. So I love you guys and I will see you in a little bit once I fix the Frank. All right.